Hi everyone, it's Sean from Team 165 and my teammate is Julie Hart. She's outside working on the Unruly Con, getting all the packing done. And what I want to share with you is this DMOS collective shovel. It's a collapsible shovel, so that means that this shaft retreat, it's recessed in terms of storage through these two um, eyelets right here on the side panels of what you'll call I'm going to call it the bucket of the shovel. I don't know the proper terminology. So what's really great about this is it's pretty lightweight. It's not very heavy. The material is really good construction. You can see there's a pretty good uh, thickness in the metal and it's uh, running all around the perimeter of the bucket. And it has some really large teeth like up to the first knuckle. So that means it's going to get really good bite into the medium that's going to be moved such as sand which is what we're going to be primarily using it for in the Rebel Rally. So we're participating in a 2,500 mile, uh, kilometer, sorry, off-road adventure that's a women's only team event. And we're going to be in a Jeep Rubicon. And what we're bringing with us for the dune areas such as Glamis that we're going to be at is an ability to extract our vehicle if we tend to get stuck, which we hope we won't, or maybe to help somebody else. So what we're going to be doing is um, showing you how to open this up when you first buy yours. And it's going to come in the package just like what you see here. So it has a really sturdy handle, a really good grip handle here. It's pretty beefy. And it also has push pin releases. It has a series of uh, three of these. There's one at the neck of the handle right here. There's one at the shaft, at the gooseneck area where the shaft inner, uh, inserts and interplays into the the tongue area here and basically what you want to do when you buy it is that if if the if the lip of the perimeter of this material this tubing is hitting the inside lip of the interior of the shovel just move it until it releases otherwise it's going to get pinned in there and it's going to be a three-piece uh, assembly so what you'll do is you'll Pull out the push pins, pushing both in on port and starboard side since I'm a mariner. Everything is right and left, port and starboard. And this main shaft will still remain in the bucket of the shovel. And then what you'll do is you'll just slide this out. As you can see, this slides out pretty easy. And then it's going to probably lock into the second level of push pins. You can just release those and then you'll have your whole handle. Of course, I've already branded it with our sponsors, the Rescue Watercraft Association and Risen Wild Clothing. So you've got a pretty beefy, sturdy handle. Uh, it's good for a grip when you need to sort of dump the material and move it. So that's really ergonomic to the hand grip that we have for strength and coordination. So that's pretty beefy, very simple as well. So it also has a quick release here if you need to re -pull, actually pull this out and extend the base of the tongue of the shaft of the actual shovel. So you could make this as a very long extension or you can maintain it into a, sorry, <laughs> not very coordinated today, am I? And you can just push those two push pins back in and slide these back into the locking mechanism. So that's a pretty good little handle right there. The one thing that you need to be aware of here is that if you push this too far, 